My parents have always told me I, think that I will thank them later, whether it's pushing me to do things I don't want to do or not letting me do the things I want to do. Being a senior, my journey of living at home is almost over. Looking back, I'm starting to thank them for some of their decisions they have made for me. But of course, I'm not going to tell them that out loud. I love to be right when it comes to my parents. I will act like I'm smarter and know better than them. But in reality, I'm wrong, and I'm far from being as smart as them. When it comes to my own decisions, eight out of 10 times, I make the wrong one, and there is no denying it. My parents may have made many decisions for me that I have not agreed with, but looking back at them, they really weren't lying. I will thank them later. My mom has always been my best friend. Being a teenager, I'm not gonna tell her that, but it's true. She's the one I come to with all my problems and the one that is always do what's best for me and my brothers. My mom is 42 years old and is a stay-at-home mom. Um, my mom graduated high school and got a job and soon after met my dad. My dad didn't want my mom to have a job because he wanted to provide for her and he knew that when, she had, when they had kids, they would want to spend all their time with them. My mom is caring and has always done whatever it takes to make my brothers and I happy. Whether it's driving 45 minutes to Lexington to bring me my cheer bag, I forgot it or driving me to practice, or to the farm, or to a friend's house. She always made sure I was doing what I wanted to do. My mom does everything for me without complaining. Now that I'm older, I see all she's done for me and how I never really noticed it all before. Yes, me and my mom have our ups and downs, but it's only because I like to do the opposite of what she tells me to do. And being honest, I wish I did a lot of things differently because I see that everything she tells me to do is to benefit me and make me a better person. But no matter what I do or how angry I make her, she always forgives me and continues to love me for me. My mom not only does a lot for me, but also takes care of my brothers and my dad. Last year was a very hard year. My dad's mom was diagnosed with cancer. Dad being the one working every day, he could not be there for his mom as much as he wanted to. But my mom stepped up and made sure Granny's house was clean, Granny had three meals a day, and she went to almost all my Granny's doctor's appointments. So during that time, not only was she continuing to cater to me and my brothers, but Granny too. After we lost Granny, my dad and my papa were having a really hard time. And again, my mom is there for both of them. My mom is caring and loving and always knows how to help everyone and she does everything without complaining. My dad is in a lot of ways the same. My dad is 44 years old and is a builder for his own company. My dad began working with his dad building houses at age 11 and has done it ever since. My dad graduated high school, continued to work, and soon after met my mom. My dad is the most generous, sensitive, loving person you will ever meet. My dad works every day from 6 in the morning till 10 to 12 at night. My dad always makes sure we are able to do what we want to do. No matter if he's sick or in pain, he continues to provide for us. Dad is the person that will always give you the benefit of the death. No matter what you do, he will forgive you and give you chances after chances. As I have gotten older, I see everything my dad has to go through every day and send me, to send me a tray to a private school Make sure we get to drive the vehicles we want to drive and have the money to do all the activities we, me and my brothers want to do. My dad doesn't get to be around as much as he wishes he could or as much as my mom is, but he's the backbone of our family. Without my dad being the driven person he is, I wouldn't have been given the opportunity to go to LCA. I wouldn't get to participate in the things I love doing. My dad has gone through a lot, but no matter what, his family comes first, and it sets a good example for me and my brothers. Above every other great trait of my dad's, the one I admire most is the way he loves. Being the only daughter, I've always been my dad's kid. Uh, he might not admit it, but I know I am. I'm his little girl, his princess, and I've always been catered to. No matter what I do, my dad continues to love me. Yes, my dad can get mad, but after five minutes, he'll give me a hug and tell me he wouldn't yell at me if he didn't love me. My mom and dad have been married for a long time, and every day I get to see the love they have for each other. They have shown me how to love unconditionally through my parents' relationship. I see how I should care and love for someone and how I should be cared and loved for. My parents mean the world to me. Without them being caring, loving parents they are, I wouldn't be the person I am today. They have taught me to want the best for myself, to always put others first, and how to love unconditionally. My mom and dad are the biggest role models and are always there for me. Yes, they make me mad sometimes, and I disagree with a lot of things I'm told to do. And the majority of the time, I don't listen, but they are always looking out for what's best for me because they love me and want the best for me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything.